Welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette. Today we'll be creating a treat box that would hold three Hershey nuggets. It's that time of year guys. I got this idea off of Pinterest. You had several crafters doing this with different measurements. So we're gonna go ahead and create that box today. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a piece of cardstock measuring five and a quarter by six inches. We'll bring in our scoring tool. And this is our Simply Scored Scoring Tool by Stampin' Up. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And please consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon so you could be notified when I upload my latest videos. And if you're returning, welcome back. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put the six inch side right up along here. And we're gonna go ahead and score that. So we're gonna go ahead and score it three fourths of an inch. Three fourths of an inch. Then we're gonna to go to an inch and a half, one inch and a half. Then we're gonna to go to four and a half inches. That's four and a half inches. Then we're gonna to go to five and a quarter of an inch five and a quarter of an inch then we're going to turn it around on the shorter side then we're going to go ahead and score that at three fourths of an inch two and a quarter of an inch three inches and four and a half of an inch, four and a half. Next, what we're gonna do is bring our scissors out and we're gonna go ahead and do some cutting. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cut on the long side so this is going to be the top of our box we're going to be cutting out these four sections here on either side so this cardstock is in smoky slate it's a gray if i didn't mention that before all the supplies that i'll be using will be listed in the description down below So what we're gonna do is go ahead and round those corners off. So I'm gonna take our detail 3-0 punch, which has three different function on there, but we're gonna use a um, corner rounder on this one. And we're gonna put that in and go ahead and round our corner off. So then what we're gonna do is turn it on the shorter side here. So what we're gonna do is cut in here, straight up to this score line right here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so you have your pieces looking like this, all right? So next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut off these little flaps right here. So we're going to do that on this side too as well. All right, so it should be looking like that. And so next what we're going to do is just give a miter cut, which you're just going to take a little sliver, a triangle piece out of this. And it just helps your box to fold a little nicer. And then we'll just do a little one on this as well so we're going to go to the opposite side and we'll do the same thing on this side okay so we're going to take we're going to cut it straight up to this score line right here and 
and we'll do the same thing on this side okay then we're gonna cut these little flaps off We'll go ahead and do the mitre cut. We'll cut some off from here too as well. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna emboss. We're gonna use the cobweb 3D embossing folder and we're going to add a little bit of color to that and so we're going to give our box a little texture and color. So what I'm going to do is take basic gray ink and then I am going to ink up my embossing folder so it's a raised side and it's a flat side. So I want to put my ink on the raised side So we're going to go ahead and lay this in our embossing folder and then I'm going to close the lid down on that and then I'm going to run this through my embossing machine and then I'll be right back. Okay so I am back and this is what we got right here. So this is the indented side and this is the raised side. So I wanted the indented side to be on the outside with the color, okay? It doesn't matter that these didn't get embossed because it's gonna be folded in. So let's go ahead and put our box together. So I'm gonna get use some liquid glue and we're gonna take these little flaps and we're gonna add some glue to that one and then you're gonna bring it in and you're gonna fold it down or fold it in to that side and make sure the edges come together nicely and I'm just gonna hold that for a second so it could stick well then we're going to add some glue on this flap so we'll just do each individual flap so we'll do the same thing on the opposite side and just take my bone folder and work that So now we're just gonna go to the opposite side and do the same thing. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glue on this flap right here and then we'll fold that in we'll do the same thing on the opposite side Then we're just gonna fold this and then put our lid, close that down and there we have our box. So what we're gonna make is a belly band for this and then we'll decorate the outside of our box. So I'm gonna just bring in a different color paper and this is in Pretty Peacock. And this belly band is measuring 3 fourths of an inch by five and a quarter of an inch and um, we're gonna go ahead and score this you could go ahead and fold it around your box but I went ahead and unscored it so give it a nicer look 
So we're going to bring in our scoring tool once again. So we're going to score at an inch and an eighth. Then we're going to go ahead and score at two inches. Then at three and a half inches. Then at four and a quarter of an inch. So you could go ahead and burnish those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my seam here in the front because we're going to cover it up and you're not going to see it. So I'm just going to get some glue and glue that down just like that. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is um, get a sentiment from this lovely stamp set, Have a Hoot. So this stamp set is for Christmas and Halloween. So we're going to be using this sentiment here, Boo. And also they this comes with coordinating dies and these dies are Peak a Hoot dies. So I'm bringing in one of those um, tags that I cut out and I am going to bring in our basic gray ink. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment on that. And make sure you have your sentiment facing right side up. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that right in the middle. Next, I'm going to get some ribbon. This is our glittered organdy ribbon and I am going to go ahead and tie a tiny little bow. I'm just going to trim the tails of that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and glue this down. I'm just going to add this down with some glue. So then I'm going to take a glue dot and stick our bow right down on there. So let's put this where we're hiding our little seam. Then we'll put our ribbon there to cover up that hole. And then we have our belly band. So now for our chocolate. We're going to go ahead and cover those nuggets, but I want to show you how nicely they fit in there. So you get three nuggets that sits nicely in this box. So you could leave them that way, or you could just cover them with matching paper, okay? So with this designer series paper, I this is measuring an inch by three inches, one inch by three inches. And this is from our brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper in our Christmas catalog. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just cover these. I'm just gonna add, take a glue dot, Add it right to the back here. And you're going to wrap it around your Hersey. And then I'm just going to add one more glue dot to that. So we'll do that with the remainder of our nuggets. Okay. 
If you guys are getting any creative value from this video, please go ahead and smash that like button down below. So let's go ahead and put our belly band back on. And I just want to show you on this one that I did previously, this one is on the raised um, side. And in this, I use a pretty peacock and this one is on the indented side. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Get out there and be creative. This is Claudette and I'll catch you guys on the next video.